In this video, me and my dog Jai are going to be showing you how to access a secret Power BI slicer. You heard you heard that right, a secret slicer. So buckle up, because this is a big video. Here I am in a blank Power BI file. If I go into the modeling tab and then click new parameter and numeric range, and I create one that has a minimum value of zero and a maximum value of 20 and increments by one, hit create, what it'll do is it'll go ahead and it'll insert in a slicer for me. Now this slicer is different than a normal slicer. It's called a single slicer. So if I go into format and slicer settings, what you'll see is that the style is set to a single value. And I can go ahead and change this to other things, but I have this single value option. But if I open up this Power BI file that I happen to have on my desktop and select a slicer and then go into formatting, what you'll see is that when I go into slicer settings, I don't have that single value. So what is driving this in Microsoft Power BI? Well, see this little question mark right here on this column? This is being driven by what's called an extended property in Power BI. So what is an extended property? Well, I didn't know. So I asked my own Dax dog, Jai. And Jai told me that an extended property is essentially just metadata tagged onto visuals or onto columns that can tell Power BI information about what is contained in there. So if we go into TMDL view, for example, and we drag over our column parameter, like what we just did, what you'll see is that this column has an extended property, property metadata version zero. And this right here is what's allowing us to use that single value slicer. So if I remove it and recreate this table, what you'll see is that when we now go look at this table, that column no longer has the question mark and the slicer setting, it's still a single slicer, but it's now between. I no longer have that option to go back to that single value. So after Jai explained to me that the availability of this single slicer is being driven by this extended property and this annotation, I asked him, hey Jai, can I add this onto an existing column and then access that single slicer feature? And the answer is, yes, I can, can I Jai? So here I am back in that Power BI, and I've swapped out this slicer for a numeric slicer called list price. And this is the list price of the unit of apparel that this dashboard is talking about. And as you can see right here, that single value slicer dropdown isn't available. But if I go back into TMDL view and I drag over that product table right here, and then I go down to list price, which is the column I have in that slicer. I add that extended property annotation, click apply, and then go back into my data model. What you'll now see is I now have this question mark and I can now use the single value slicer, just like that. Now you can also access this feature via Power BI's new project files, and the, in particular, the PBIR file format. And I posted about that on my LinkedIn. And in fact, I didn't even know about this extended property until Ed, Edward, Edward here, different spelling of my name, uh, told me that it was possible. So if you're interested in Microsoft Power BI, Business Intelligence, Python, SQL, please consider subscribing and giving me a follow on LinkedIn. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Also, Jai went to bed, so I probably should too.